Hey everyone, coming up this week on Minecraft Inc, we're going to show you how you can use Dropbox to back up your saves and bring them wherever you go. So if you're going from PC to Mac and vice versa, we'll show you a very simple and easy way to make sure your saves are always backed up. We're also going to cover the Minecraft news of the week. We have some great pack picks and some special announcements. All that and more coming up. This is Minecraft Me, a show that is about Minecraft. Where we bring you some of the most awesome tutorials on the internet. Reviews of mods and pack picks that you can use when you play. We take you on awesome adventures. All with Chase and Joe. Minecraft Me is brought to you by viewers and listeners like you on Patreon. That's right, Patreon.com is a place where you can go and support Minecraft Me for as little as $1 per month. And when you do that, you help keep this show on the air. Head over to Patreon.com slash Minecraft to support Minecraft Me. Hey everybody, welcome again to another edition of Minecraft Me. This is the show that is entirely about the game from Mojang called Minecraft. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an expert, we'd like to show you how to play this awesome building blocks game. And thank you so much for downloading and checking out our show. I also want to say a big thank you to all the Patreons who support this show every single week. You guys are the ones that we are really grateful for. Uh, because without you, this show would probably stop, the server would go away, and then people would be sad. So you guys are awesome. I also want to say... You know who else is awesome? I want to say these guys are awesome. These guys in our lovely chat room joining us on this Thursday evening, 8 p.m. Pacific time at live.geekgamer.tv. So if you're here and you're uh, you're checking us out live, thank you so much. My name is Chase Nunes, and joining me on every single week of Minecraft Me Without Fail. I just saw this guy literally like five days ago online. It's crazy like that. But for you guys, you have no idea. Uh, here he is, folks, Mr. Joseph Falby. Hey, Joe, how are you? How's it going? Oh, pretty just, just saw you I online. Just, just saw you online just a few days ago. <laughs> Actually, literally like two days ago, we were testing out a possible new feature in the future. We're, right. not, we're not ready for it yet. But one I of the, turn it on. It, it's actually really easy to turn it on. You could turn it on, really? With, yeah. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Should, we, should we just do it live? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is how things break, anyway. Yep. Uh, but uh, we were experimenting a couple of days ago a way to link our chat room, which we have at live.geekgamer.tv, which is already linked to another chat room on Twitch, and then link that with the chat in our Minecraft public server. So things are going to get really crazy really, really quick. But I know a lot of you guys want to stay in the server and yet be a part of the chat room, well, this is your chance to do that. So we were testing that out earlier this week, and um, it, it kind of worked. It kind of worked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Joe, uh, and you know, this is, uh, we're going to continue this uh, ongoing thing of talking about there things. There it is. Oh, it's now on. It, yeah, the, 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 it's it joined on, our chat room. Wait, it's, it's on So now. people who chat on IRC will uh, see right there. Okay. So, so it's on now. Yes. Oh, there, so uh, if you... So you actually uh Okay. I, I'm um, confused. Hello, IRC. Uh so now, yeah, uh you should be able to see people chat. Oh, it's it looks like it's only one way right now. Oh, it's only I probably one need to change your setting to fix that. Okay. Right now, everything that's happening in IRC is being posted into the into the Minecraft uh into the Minecraft server. Okay. So um which is I'm sure everybody in the Minecraft server is like, what is happening? Oh my god, it's crazy. Um yeah. So um yeah, <laughs> let's just move on. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just, we'll just. So this week on the show, this is going to be one of those shows where it's going to be cool to know how to do. It's not very fun, you know. And I'm, I think I'm making one of the biggest faux pas there is when it comes to broadcasting. Is you don't tell people it's going to be dry, but I, I need to warn you guys, this might be a little dry. We'll try to have fun with it, but we're going to show you how on the PC and Mac, both at the same time, we're going to do one at a time, how you could use Dropbox to back up your creations that you make on Minecraft on your own machine so you always have access to it. 
no matter if you're playing on the Mac or playing on the PC, maybe you go to a friend's house and then you install Dropbox there. You can access your maps very, very easily, all using Dropbox. Now, of course, it depends on your internet connection. And, you know, if you go to your friend's house and he has, you know, really bad internet, that might cause him issue, but it will work. So that's what we're going to do, right, Joe? Real simple and easy. Yeah, it's actually not very hard. It's it's uh it's pretty straightforward. Okay. Um and uh oh, cool. Some of part parts of the the chat thing is working. Okay. I just got it to list all the players in the server on the Anyway, um uh, so Joe's yeah, it's actually, playing. Uh, this is why we don't we don't do things during a live show cuz Joe's now distracted. I I I it happens. You know what? It doesn't matter. We could be doing this or not. Anybody who's watched the show before knows that half the time you go, "Right, Joe?" and I go, "Yeah, yeah, sure." Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Yeah, right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm. Anyway, all right. Uh, yeah, no, it, it should be a good episode. Uh, w- we've talked about this in the past, how to save all of your maps, and and actually, we're going to expand that. We're going to talk about you can save all of your settings if you want Ooh, I like on that Dropbox. Too. I like that and too. sync it between different machines. What about uh, texture makes packs? Makes it really, really easy. Can you do that with texture yeah, packs too? It, it, with actually, everything? so there's two different ways to do it. There, okay. there, there's, and we'll talk about both ways. All right. One is to just pick specific directories. So all if right. you want to just do resource packs or just uh, maps. Uh, your saves, that sort of thing. The other way is is do the whole Minecraft, the whole dot .minecraft directory, which would make it so that uh, everything follows you. So when you uh, when you launch Minecraft on one machine, anywhere you have Dropbox, you launch it, you'll get the same the same uh, configuration, the same settings on all of your machines. The good thing is all of those settings follow you. The bad thing is all of the graphics settings follow you. So if you're going from a low-end laptop to a high-end desktop, or vice versa for that matter, uh, you may end up with some weird graphical things but but yeah everything cool. you, we can we can do it both ways and it's actually really easy nice. and customized once you get the idea it's pretty straightforward all right so we're going to show you that on the show today where you also have a pack pick we have a pack pick and in lieu of our server showcase we have something very special to announce but first oh yeah and then the questions of course we have questions on every single episode first thing it's now time for is the news and first story this week we're going to talk about is uh, more information in regards to Minecraft on the Xbox One and PS4. First part of the news is they've talked a little bit about larger map sizes. Now, it was previously confirmed that the next-gen editions would have bigger worlds. We don't still know how big they will be, but we will say this, they and they have said this, they're going to be much larger but not infinite like it kind of is on the PC side of things. And I think we've, we've already pretty much come to the agreement, Joe, that this is because of probably just memory limitations. This is just limitations right. of peer-to-peer server setting ups because unlike on the PC where you, your PC is connecting to a server or you're basically your whole system is a server, you know, local single-player map, Xbox doesn't quite work that way, right? You have to basically, they're, either they set it up on your Xbox One or you're linking up with somebody else in your shared world. You're not really connecting to a server to play. So uh, bit... you uh, probably I, I okay. mean I think that's how how everyone sort of anticipates that's how the Xbox version works, uh, and that I, my guess is that's absolutely correct. However, I don't know I I don't I actually haven't played it on the Xbox, um, so it's it's possible that it works in a slightly different way, but yeah, one of the big limiting factors on all of the consoles is they have comparatively relatively low amount of memory. Uh, and lower CPU, uh, even a moderate, you know, we're reaching the point where eight gigs of RAM is standard on a desktop, uh, on a non-gaming desktop, and more is getting more common on gaming systems. And eight gigs is what the next gen consoles or the current gen consoles come with the Xbox One and the PS4. So right. it's not surprising that that they're still going to have some limits. Uh, I don't know how big. I mean, what do they mean much bigger, but still limited? I mean, we're at uh, what Minecraft on PC. They say the the surface size, yeah, the theoretical surface size limitation is roughly the same equivalent as the planet uh, Uranus, right? The, so the only thing they they've said here is it should be more in line with the PC game, with the exception okay. being they're not like infinite, like they can be in the PC game. I mean, we've yeah. we've, we've well, they're they're yeah. they're for all they're not actually infinite, but for all intents and purposes, yeah. they're pretty much right, limited. yeah, right. So, so there you That's go. Still pretty cool. Yeah, no, very, very cool. We got that information. Now, here is the other thing uh, that we've been hearing about. Some so these are rumors, and I'm not. I don't like talking too much about rumors, but I know a lot of you really want to know when is it going to come out on the Xbox One. When is it going to be released on the PS4? And the latest launch titles. The launch titles. 
They according to a, came out, they came out with the consoles, right? It looks like 4J Studios and uh, you know Microsoft are getting together and they're finally coming together to say, hey, guess what? Spencer, Phil Spencer, Microsoft's Xbox division leader, said that they are very, very close to setting a release date for the launch game on the new generation of consoles. Um, and they haven't, and that's it. <laughs> There's been rumors that it could be by the end of the year. Uh, there could be rumors that it could be by August. But the good news, you guys, is they are this close. I'm sorry. You can't see my hands. They're this close. Wait, hold on. There you go. They're this close to announcing when it's coming out. So your guess is good as mine. I'm not going to do a lottery. Uh, some people think it's going to be December. Some people think it's going to be August. There was a uh, a posting on Walmart.com that they put the the new version of Minecraft up on their website, saying it's going to be out in December and it's going to be fifty nine ninety nine. But maybe that's the disc version. Maybe I mean we don't know. We just don't know. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, Joe, uh, you're up on this one. Snapshot fourteen W nineteen A is out. Uh, they've made some changes to World Border. Spectator mode has now a prelim interface for teleporting to other players and loose change. Uh, anything else we need to know about at all? Uh, nothing Nothing too major. Uh, they've changed a little bit about how the slime blocks are uh, will work. And, and they actually, the, they, they released a kind of a cool, or, or somebody did a kind of a cool moving gif of a slime block piston being extended into a person standing next to it. And bouncing, you know how you can bounce on slime blocks and bounce them yeah, out away yeah. from the piston. So totally. they move further yeah. away than they would normally. And uh, they say that'll work on any entities, so mobs and stuff like that, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, you could have reactive armor against creepers, which I think wow. is kind of an interesting idea. Yeah. Um, you know, they walk within a certain distance and the slime block piston bounces yeah. them out, out away. Yeah. Kind of, kind of inefficient. A wall is just as good against most creepers, but still kind of entertaining. Um, a few other things like that. Uh, they did make some major improvements to spectator mode. And spectator mode is something that's that I don't think is in one seven, but is going to be in one eight. Uh, so there'll be a whole new game mode. So you'll have adventure, creative, sur uh, survival, and spectator mode. And spectator mode will of course be spectators. We actually demoed it on the show a while back. Yeah, we did. Uh, yep. If you're a spectator, you can see other people's heads. Yeah, you, and you other can be, spectators. You can be you can't first. See, you the can, other regular players can't see you. I just love the fact that you can actually take right, the first, first person. First person yeah, for other players. I think that's yeah. great. Can't wait to yeah, actually so really get that cool. working very well because then we can implement yeah. that for survivor games and that'd be awesome. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. So very. So cool. yeah. Uh, so looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much just a lot of maintenance stuff now. Hopefully, not too many. We're not going to see any new features. That I'm really hoping that they're sort of slowing down and they're going to get ready to release it, and then we'll see it in. Um, uh, we'll see. Hopefully, like you know, like I said, in a few weeks, a month, maybe. Uh, we'll see 1.8 actually drop, and we'll get all of this stuff. Plus, remember all the other stuff we've talked about, being able to change your server name, uh, being able to... Um, uh, Twitch uh, streaming? Well, we already have the Twitch stream. That's yeah. one seven, That's one five, seven and five. later. Yep. Yep. So, so yeah, but we are looking for some really cool features, and uh, 1.8 should be really... I think should be a pretty good update. Not a lot of, like, super major giant changes, except for the name thing. A lot of people think that's going to be a huge deal. So, Joe, uh, now we have actually some local server news I want to talk about. And uh, when we made the move to the Season 3 map and the beautiful Spawn Campus and the beautiful terrain and how everything has been completely redone, and it is, it is truly gorgeous. I mean, when you have a chance, just explore it. There's some great stuff to see. There were some back-end setting changes. And I'm wondering, Joe, if maybe you could briefly explain to the people out there who may not realize some of these changes, maybe they came back to the server for after being gone for a long time, uh, one of the uh, significant changes in regards to what happens when you die. Can you talk about that real quick? Right. What happens when you die? Well, typically <laughs> when you die... Right. Uh, so so what uh, the, the, the there's a game mode setting or a, a game type setting. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, in Minecraft, that is basically keep inventory. And so when you die, you keep your inventory, you keep your XP. And um, it's it's generated kind of a debate in the um, in the forums. And, and people who aren't active in the forums may not have seen this, but the big question is, should it be enabled or not? 
Right. And it's gone back and forth. Um, the big the argument for it being enabled is it makes it much easier for new players coming into the server. They don't have to worry about getting killed by uh, a bunch of mobs five seconds into joining the server and then having nothing, starting over with nothing. So the other, the but the, uh, and and people, are, they're on both sides. And, and it's yeah. really interesting to hear the discussion. I'm thinking that there's two options that I, that I really like. Uh, oh, and the downside to it is if you reach a point where you're low on health or you're low on food or whatever like that, jump off a cliff, kill yourself, you respawn with full health and full food. So who cares? Right. Um, and you don't lose anything for doing it. Right. I think I think there's two different ways we should do this. One is, so the, the problem is right now, if you kill yourself, you can just do slash back and you go right back to where you were, exactly where you died, which is great when you're trying to recover stuff. Uh, if if you lost your items, you drop your items when you die, you can go right back to where they were and pick them back up as long as zombies weren't the ones that killed you and picked up all your nice armor and are now fighting you. Um, which is super entertaining, by the way. When you're wearing like full armor and drop them all and then you come back and you see a zombie with a diamond sword, an enchanted diamond sword and like right. uh, iron. Yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, uh, so the the one option is turn off keep inventory. So when you die, it goes back to the way it was. You lose your inventory, you lose your XP, you don't keep any of it. Again, the downside to that is new players could have a really hard time with that. They hop onto the server, they meet a creeper or a bunch of mobs, whatever, and uh, boom, they're gone. They lose all the everything they started with, the kit they started with. The other way to do it, and I, I'm kind of leaning this direction, but but I'm totally in for any discussion, is leave keep inventory on but turn off the back command for after you die. What that means is if you die, you won't be able to respawn and do immediately do slash back and go back right to exactly where you died at. Uh, you still be able to use slash back in other locations. So if you wanted TP, if, if you were TPing to a friend and you wanted to go back, you can still do that. But when you die, you would not be able to go right back to where you, where you had died. So how uh, does which how, means that, so how does that help though? Uh, I mean, you, you die, but you still so keep right your now items. the, the, there's no disadvantage to dying. If you die, right. You don't lose your inventory and you hit slash back. So you go right back to exactly where you were standing when you died. Okay. So if you're exploring out into the map, say you're heading a long distance. Right. And you die right now, you just, you respawn at spawn, you hit slash back, and you're back right where you were. You've right. already explored so many thousand blocks. Right. And now you have full health and stuff again. If on the other hand, you're exploring and there's no slash back to return to where you died, you have to start your exploration back over again. Does that make sense? But you don't lose your items, though, right? But so, you don't lose your items. So you yeah. keep your XP and you keep your items. So I'm just wondering what the kind of penalty is, I guess, in that example. Yeah, yeah you were exploring. You can't, you can't go right back to where you were. Is that much of a penalty? Uh, it depends on how far you've traveled and how well you've set homes or beds. Right, yeah. Because you can still go to you can still go home. Right. Uh, but you can't go right back to it. You can't yeah. go right back to exactly where yeah. you died. So... I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if if there's a lot of people. Um, uh, I'm I'm not sure how passionate people are on both sides of this. I think there's a a handful of people who are really uh, vehement and passionate about which direction they want it to go, and I think the vast majority are sort of like me. And I, it could go either way. Yeah. Um, but I do sort I do kind of agree that right now it's a little bit too easy. Um, I would agree with that too, and and I, I know there was a couple of points made that they talked about how it this was a little bit less vanilla, and you know the the factor of survival isn't quite there when you still get to keep all of your items when you die. Well, uh, the idea of it not being being less vanilla is uh, so I, while while the server is at its base a, a relatively vanilla server, that sort of does go out the window when you talk about there being slash homes. Uh, you know, ideally, you wouldn't be able to teleport anywhere if if it was strictly vanilla. You could teleport if you if you had permission to do it, but you wouldn't be able to set slash homes or anything like that. Um, so I don't really know. Uh, that's what that's really what the forum post is about. That's that I think is is a great place for people to get in and discuss it. And uh, and please post there. S say what you what what your feelings are on it. Yeah. We'll have a link. We'll definitely uh, have a link to in the directly show notes. there. Yeah. So post, uh, post what you think. Post your your ideas. If you think there's another option that might be better, post that. I yep. really, re what we really want is feedback from you guys. You guys are the ones who are, are playing in the server and spending a lot of time there. If you want to just leave it alone, post that. Yeah, totally. You know. Um. So it's it's uh. But but please post there. 
let us know. I know there are some people who really like the challenge, and there's some people who are like, I don't want the challenge. I just want to do it. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so please uh, post in the forums. Let us know, and uh, and in a week or so, we will figure out exactly what we're going to do and uh, and announce that on the show. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, please. So. We want your voice to be heard. Our forums are free to sign up for geekgamer.tv slash forums. We'll have a link in our show notes. So if you want to go right to that post and enter your thoughts and engage in the conversation, we want to hear from you. Both sides. You know, we we will not delete or discriminate at any comment whatsoever. Nope. We want to hear from you. That's really the point of yeah. this post. So And we don't really want it to turn into a an argument. We don't want right. people to be bickering back and forth about yeah. why, you know, about how wrong someone else is. Yeah. That's not what this is about. This should yeah. be a constructive discussion. Totally. So uh if if you start flaming other people, then we might just delete your post. Yeah. But yeah. uh <laughs> but it, as long as you guys keep it civil, which I know everybody out there should be able to, um that's that's what we want is we want a good a good discussion about what what that is totally so be be civil be don't civil be and be good Congress. <laughs> <laughs> now uh another way uh that you can make your voice heard and speaking of congress being bought i'm kidding i'm sorry <laughs> is are well, we gonna do a net neutrality episode is no, no 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 <laughs> um uh, Oh, man, that's a whole nother ball. We didn't talk about it on <laughs> Sunday, but anyway. Um, hey, you guys, we are doing a Patreon. Uh, and in case you don't know, Patreon is a place where you can go to support our shows and other great content providers as well. There, there's other people making good content. But we have one. It's patreon.com slash Minecraft. This is a way that you can actually contribute directly to the show and support what we're trying to do. And that is making a show that is all about Minecraft. Now, what you're looking at here is our Patreon page. This is where you can find out more information about our Patreon and find out history about Minecraft Bee. But more importantly, when you contribute to a Patreon, what that does is it helps keep the show on the air. That means you get the community forums that we talked about, all the public servers that you can access, the survival, creative, and advanced future servers, TeamSpeak. It also provides servers for the files that you actually download and watch the show, the ad-free stream, the chat room, all that fun jazz. All that is thanks to you guys becoming a Patreon. And if you decide to become a Patreon today, you get added to that list. And all we ask is at least $1 per month. That's 25 cents per episode. And when you do that, it really helps keep this show going. Now, the show will always be free, but if you become a Patreon at, say, $5 per month, you get access to our creative map. We have a creative server that you get unlimited blocks. You get a, a huge plot. And then we've seen some people do some amazing things on the server. And that's just one of our ways that we can give back to you guys by deciding, to, hey, you know what? Instead of getting that coffee today, I'm going to kick these guys five bucks. And really, it doesn't take much because when you get all these people together, grouping together, it's like Kickstarter, but this is for ongoing stuff. It helps us tremendously. And if you guys look, we're very, very close to our 100% server milestone goal. We want to get to $521.23 per month. If we get to that goal, guess what happens? We don't have to stress and worry about paying for the servers every single month. So if you can think about becoming a Patreon today, really all you need is a dollar per month. That helps us tremendously. Go to patreon.com slash Minecraft to do that. I want to say a big thanks to all of our brand new patrons that jumped on in the month of April. You should now have access to that creative map that I talked about and the other cool features. So if you haven't, let us know. Send me a message through the Patreon system. Say, hey, I still don't have access, and we'll get it all worked out. We'll also be announcing in a couple of weeks our first Survivor Games Patreon special. And uh, we'll be sending out separate emails to all those who have uh, are at the, I think it's $5 and higher levels. So we'll be contacting you directly and give you a date and a time. And if you can't make it, if you can't make it, you are allowed to designate someone else in your place. I'm going to let you do that. It's only fair. It's your five bucks. <laughs> but you can't sell it to somebody else. <laughs> so just want to say thank you so much uh, for uh, supporting us. We really, really do appreciate it. Um, anything you wanted to say to the Patreons, Joe, before we, we move on here? No, uh, uh, big old thanks. Uh, I mean, if if it if it wasn't for them coming up here, we'd we'd be having a really hard time, and uh, uh, and it is greatly appreciated. Everything that everything that they've given and everything that they do for the show, 
Um, you know, can't underestimate how important that is and how, how valuable we, we think the, 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 the support is. Yeah, totally. So. Totally. So thank you so much, you guys. We really do appreciate it. If you want more information, head to patreon.com slash Minecraft. And we thank you for supporting us. We really do appreciate it. So this week, Joe, we're going to show people how they can use Dropbox to automatically. Well, did we want to? Did we want to uh, talk about? It's in the list, but we skipped it. The season two map. Uh, oh, that's right. That's right. I I didn't have a link, so I yeah. I didn't have a tab. Yeah. Uh, good yeah. call. Um. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as you let a lot you let you guys know, we've been having portal access to the season two map on our server. Uh, obviously, we can't do certain things that we want to launch because that Season 2 map is taking up resources. So what's going to happen in a week, Joe? What is going to happen in one week from today? Well, I can't guarantee it's going to happen one week from today. But in around a week, um, we're going we're gonna to actually take the map offline fully. It's been in read-only mode right now, so people can visit, fly around, take a look at stuff. Yeah. Uh, but due to some bugs, they can't actually interact with anything, which is super frustrating. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take that offline and we're going to get that ready to distribute via all of the, the different distribution methods. It'll be on torrents. It'll be on what? Websites and mega. And mega and all that. But now here's the thing I, I, I will, I, I'm yeah. going to do. Uh, I, I will mm -hmm. for the Patreons. If you're a Patreon supporter, I'm going to give you access to our. We're going to have that, that file on our directly on our site so you can download it straight up free and fast. Uh, but for everybody else, we'll have torrents set up. We'll have mega set up. We'll have all these different places set up. So nice and easy. Um, yeah, and it it is going to be quite big. Yes, um, yes. Expect it, it to be uh, around the probably the ten gig mark. It, actually, it'll probably be smaller than that. It might be more like four or five gigs. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be a big so, file. So so it's going to be a big file to download. It it certainly won't be um it won't be the one terabyte that uh, what did we talk about last week um. Uh, Denmark. Uh, what country was that? Denmark. Denmark. Yeah, yeah. It certainly won't be the one terabyte that Denmark uh, has for their map, but it's also uh, a little smaller. Oh, that's awesome! Um, uh, Master Wolf said in the so. Twitch chat that he's also going yeah. to help support it, which is great. Uh, that's awesome. So, so we got a lot of great people in the community that are willing to mirror this. It is one of those things. Now, I want to preface this: this will not include AT and T Park. Uh, yeah. That is a community build that we do not want falling into other people's hands and trying to take credit <laughs> and say, hey, I built this. And then they go to like all these different gaming sites. No, no, not going to happen. We're not going to do that. We, I mean, all a lot of people built that. Uh, you know, Chris Cocking and the entire team did an incredible job. And we don't want anybody else taking credit other than them. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but other than that, you're going to be able to check out everything else. So, uh, so yes, cannot wait to share that with you guys. And then that frees up uh, server resources for us to add possibly more perks to our Patreon. Hmm, I wonder what that could be, Joe Falby. Or maybe a whitelisted, no whitelisted uh, free to be server or something. Like that. I don't know. I mean, I, I we've, there's been rumors. Uh, there's been rumors. Probably not a feed to be server initially. Oh, okay. Sorry, I've heard rumors. You've been reading. You've been reading the wrong form. I've been reading or TM remembering things wrong. I've been reading TMZ Minecraft. I'm sorry. I believe it. I, I'm sorry. Tell it. I, you know, I've said this before. I've said this about other things. I'm going to say this about this. Don't believe anything, any any rumors that are out there out there on the internet until someone's up on a stage actually announcing a product. And in in a black shirt and blue jeans. I didn't say they had to be wearing that. Okay. Well, I mean, usually it's a turtleneck, but Mark Cook doesn't. <laughs> or, uh, uh, um, what's his name? Cook. Uh, Steve. I can't think of his name. Mike. Jim. It's the the new the new CEO. Uh, who cares? Anyway, isn't it he Jim? doesn't. Uh, uh, I don't think so. Frank, I I don't seriously. Uh, anyway, um, the reason I think Mark is we have a Mark Cook at work. Anyway, uh, uh anyway, so uh, all right. uh, so yeah, I mean, I don't think he presents that way, but yeah, nevertheless, uh, rumors will not be will not be confirmed nor denied until they are officially announced. So, um, but yes, we we it will free up server overhead for other things, other ideas, other projects. Uh, things that I've been playing around with. Okay. So. so it's time to jump in, and we're going to show you guys how to use Dropbox to back up your uh, your Minecraft creations, not only your own yes. on-computer creations, but your settings. Maybe you want your resource packs to be all meshed together. So is uh, wh how would you rate this, Joe? Beginner, intermediate? I would say maybe borderline intermediate-ish because you're dealing with some things you Maybe yeah, so in order to do it, it, it does require um, digging into and, and 
and getting a, a console going. Right. Uh, so it is it is sort of an intermediate thing, and um, it's but it's it's really not hard. And once you get used to it, it's pretty straightforward on how to do this. And you'll you'll be like, why don't I do this for all of my games? And then you you might. So for for I, sake, I, I actually do this for a bunch of games. So for sake of demonstration, Joe, I think one mm -hmm. of the one thing is I don't really play single player all that much, uh, if at all. So what I'm going yeah. to do is I'm just going to because uh, I need to create a file. I think I, I don't have a world file. Right. So uh, so one thing. Uh, so this is one seven four. This will work for any version of Minecraft. I think at all, right? It doesn't matter the version. Right. Of Minecraft. Yeah. This uh, I've been I've actually been doing this. I, I've been. Syncing my my save files across different versions of Minecraft for years now, uh, for quite a long time, and so this will work with any, as far as I know, any version of Minecraft that uses the same folder structure. So if if early early alphas use a different folder structure, it may not, but I don't know. Oh wow, I actually have so you already actually already have two maps. In <laughs> yeah, there. these are old. Yeah, these are from uh, from uh, no, uh, February. So I'm just gonna yep. open it up. I just want to see what's here, um, and I'm gonna put something here so you guys can see what's here. Uh, so, um, let this load, it's going to download the terrain. It's going to reticulating splines, um, sometime today. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you did to your map. I, I, I didn't do anything to my map. I just selected the map. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, all there right, it goes. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do, just so we know, uh, this is my, so I'm just going to put some blue wool. Uh, okay. right here so we know it's been modified. So here we go. Some blue wool. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to leave. I'm going to save and quit to title. Okay. Yep. So now that's been saved, and it's right here, and it's got today's date on it, 518, yep. 949 p.m. Okay. Now what? Now what do we need to do? You just, well, go ahead and quit Minecraft. We don't actually want Minecraft to be running while we're doing this. Okay. Right. Uh, and uh, and the reason for that is if Minecraft happens to write to the file at a, at a wrong moment, it right. would be bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, the the next prereq, of course, is to make sure you have Dropbox installed. Yep, and I do you have a Dropbox account as well. That, yep, those are two important things. So here's my Dropbox um, drop, inf info right here. So Dropbox is a really cool thing. I know you can do this with other. There's other cloud-based storage systems you can do this with. Dropbox works really well, and it was the first one that a lot of people use. So that's why it's the most obvious example. But any of the the cloud storages that are out there that allow you to just have straight Finder level access like this, where you can browse through the directories just right in a in a Windows Explorer or in a in a uh, uh, a Mac OS Finder, right. any any of those um, will work just fine for this. Okay. And uh, what you want to do is is take note of that path at the top. Um, so, slash, so if you click in that bar off of the off of the text, don't click on the text. If you just click right there, uh, you'll see you have a path up there. Yep. And that is where your Dropbox is actually stored on your local computer. So it's also stored out there on the internet, but that's where it's stored on your local computer. Right, We're going right to need here. that later. Okay. So um, what I usually do is I set up, I add a Minecraft directory, and uh, and then I will um, so just right click and sit create. All right, directory just go or, new folder. You know, so I'm going to call this Minecraft. Okay. Okay. Got it. Right. And open that up. Okay. Now inside of that, that's where we're going to put all of the different Minecraft files. Okay. And we're going to just talk about the saves folder initially. All right. So you don't have to do anything here. Which you, what I the uh, what I want you to do is launch Minecraft, but not actually launch the client. Just launch the launcher. All right. So which um, sounds weird. Yeah. So I'm going to bring up the launcher here. Okay. And so right here on the and, we have the folder, then we have the launcher. Yep. Okay. And this is a, a really cool way to get to the Minecraft directory that that one of our viewers actually emailed in and said, "Hey, you can do it this way instead." And I was like, "Well, that's awesome." Uh, is he hit, if you hit Edit Profile down there, right? And you see, there's an Open Game Door button right there. Yeah, right there. You just click on that. Bam! Look at that. Took right. you right there. Sweet. So uh, so now you close close the Minecraft launcher again. Okay, let me. Uh, you gotta close that, that setting. Yeah, close and there that. we go. All right. Okay, so now in there is saves. You see saves? Yep, on the right there. Mm -hmm. So the saves left. is your Minecraft worlds directory, and we will actually want to move that over, copy that over to the Dropbox. You can either move or copy. Go ahead and copy it for now. All right, so we're gonna copy it because. Okay. All right, so it has now been copied, and okay. if, I don't. I know this is really, really small, but right now Dropbox is immediately syncing yes. this up to the Actually, cloud. Syncing that up to the cloud, and now what you want to do is rename the old saves, the saves directory in the .minecraft there in that one. Rename that to saves .old or saves .local I'm gonna call local it, or whatever. Yeah, I'll call matter. it local. So there we go. Okay. All right. So here's where you need, uh, you need to you know, break out the adult gloves and bust open a console. So go ahead and hit start. Okay. And just type CMD. 
CMD, which stands for command. Yep. yep. So we got the command and, here. And we're gonna we're gonna there's a few a few really cool things you can do with command on Windows, and there's actually some really cool things you can do with command uh, with the console or terminal on Mac OS, and we'll right. get to that in a minute. But what we're gonna do is is we want to move we want to change our directory over to the the Dropbox directory. Right. And so the easiest way to do that is go back to the Dropbox folder on the right. Okay. And that folder path up at the top that we talked about earlier. Yep. You're just gonna copy that. You just want to straight copy that. Got it. Then back in your com- in your command window, hit CD. The letter is CD yep. space, and then right click and select paste. Bam. And now hit enter. Now and that there. took you straight to the Minecraft. The same. So you actually, if you do dir here, you'll see saves. Right. See, yep. you're actually looking at the same folder, the same directory that you you have open in Explorer on the right hand side. Right. Now, what you want to do is you actually want to create a link, uh, what's called a symbolic link, from the saves there to the saves in your Minecraft uh, actual game directory. Right. So basically, you're you're making the, these basically talk to each other. It's it's sort of like a, a you, everybody knows about Windows shortcuts. It's sort of like that, but it's a little bit lower level. So it's a little bit more system level than just a shortcut. A shortcut is very much a a, a explorer thing. It's not built into the system. It's not built into Windows kernel type of thing. Okay. Uh, and so full programs, a lot of programs don't know how to follow a shortcut for a folder. A symbolic link will will allow programs to follow it. So uh, what you're going to do is is you want to type in mk link. Mk link and yep, and just hit enter. Okay. And that tells you that's the program we're going to use, and that will tell you the different options that it has. So you see the the way it works is mk link, and then you want to do a slash d. Then you want to do the link and the target. I hate that they say link and target because I always get confused as to which one is which. <laughs> the good thing is it doesn't really much matter. You can you can go either direction. So are you linking to the target or are you pointing the target at the link? Right. Right. I, I it always yeah it always uh, yeah. yeah. Uh. So uh. So what you can do is uh. All you need to do then is on the Left hand explorer window. Uh huh. And we'll try it this way first in case we're we're wrong and who cares. Uh so on the left hand explorer window, do the same thing. You want to grab the address up there. Okay. And copy it. that. Okay, got it. And now paste it into that. Now you may have to, if it's if there's any spaces in the directory name in the path, you may have to put quotes around it. Got it. So, so. uh doesn't look okay. like there is. Okay. Okay. And then you want to add an extra backslash. So uh, backslash backslash okay. is usually above the enter key. It yep. depends on your keyboard. Yep. And then hit and then saves. Now okay. remember, we, did, we I thought it was saves dot local or do no, we don't want that anymore. We're creating a new oh okay a new link right. Got it. Okay. All right. Okay. Yep. So now hit space again. Okay. And now go over to the right hand side and open up open up the saves directory in that one. Okay. Then you'll see now all of the icons are green. We took long enough that it uploaded everything to Dropbox. Yep. So right click on the or go up to the to the address yep. and right click and copy that. Yep. And uh, Joe just caught something. I need to do a lowercase s. Yeah, that may have to be a lowercase. I'm not sure if Windows is case sensitive or not. I all know right. Mac OS will be later, so Okay, got that. All right. Okay. And now at the end of that, make sure you go all the way over to the right again and now paste that new that other path. Okay. And pasted it. There we go. And now hit enter. You do not have sufficient privilege. Uh, I ran into this on, do I on need to Windows do a, 7 and Windows 8 do boxes. Do I need to do an elevated? That usually becomes, yeah, because that version of command hasn't been run as administrator. So uh, hit, don't close it. Okay. Don't close that. Okay. We're going to use that again because we're going to cheat later. Okay. Um. So hit, hit the start menu again. And go to all programs. Right click. Nope. Uh, right yeah, actually, that should work. Yeah, you should be able to do it that way. Right click and yeah. yes. So there we go. So now we basically want to re-enter the exact same path. So you can either type it. Um, you won't be able to copy and paste it because of how awesome Windows Explorer or Windows uh, Command well, is. Actually, no, I can but, mark um, it. I can. Uh, yeah, that'll work. See how that goes. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't do a great job, I know. Yeah. So uh, you can copy all of that and actually copy the... Go ahead and do that mark again okay. and copy the... Yeah, and now paste it and open a notepad task. Oh, yeah. Just run notepad now and we've paste lost it into that. Now we've lost everybody, yeah. Okay, and now just uh, make sure it's all one line and all you have is that. It has to be one line because it will bring that character turn across. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Now so you can copy. copy that. And I'll paste it here. And right click and paste it and hit enter. Done. There it is. Now, if you did you see the the finder window or the explorer window change? I keep calling it finder. I'm stuck on Mac OS today. Uh, you see how that changed? Oh, now look. you have a new saves icon. Yeah. Double click on that saves icon. Hey. Does that look familiar? It, it does. Looks like the window on the right. So you just created a symbolic link between these two directories. Windows Windows Explorer knows the link is there and will and will follow it, but it doesn't treat it as anything other than a standard directory. So any change you make, so create a new folder on the left side. Okay. Uh, do I do it in the Minecraft saves folder? Yeah, just create just create a new folder. Who cares? You'll see it immediately sh propagate onto the right. Bam! Wow. Just like that. Immediately. So so there you go. Now, that is... Basically, you follow those exact same steps on every Windows box that you want to have linked to this account. And everyone saw how we did that. We we just named those both saves. If you go up up one directory to the, to the base.minecraft, You'll see there's other folders in there. Ah. There's, uh, what, uh, there should be resource packs. Yep. Uh, and so, so if you have if you have Forge or Light Loader installed, there'll be a mods directory. So let me ask you this, Joe. So for every, yeah. for every, um, so every folder that we want to back up or sync up with Dropbox, yes. we have to basically create a, uh, rename the local folder? Like like we well, did with we just did that so that we didn't because we if we copied over to Dropbox we're pretty confident it's going to be on Dropbox right so we could have just moved that folder over and not renamed the original I see but uh, I I often have the attitude of don't throw away anything that you think so you may rely on you're, at some you're point you're making you're, so you're essentially just making a local backup that's I all just made doing. a local backup right. that's all it did yeah gotcha. so okay. I copied the actual copy right. over to the Dropbox account which is local and on the cloud on Dropbox's cloud right. Uh, which is a terrible term, so I'm not going to say that again. Well, I might, but only because, you know, it's funny. All right. Uh, and, uh, and then also uh, left a copy of the pre, uh, any changes you make on the local machine. Okay. So so it's available now wherever you go. And if you actually go to the Dropbox webpage right now, you'd be able to see that whole, right. that new folder and, yeah. and download the map files from another machine if you wanted. Uh, but yeah, that's that's basically it. You just follow those steps for any directory you want to save. So if you want to if you want to keep resource packs synced between all your machines, you do that there. If you uh, if you want to do the entire .dot Minecraft directory, all you do is instead of adding the slash saves at the end of it, you copy the entire .dot Minecraft directory over, and you just do the link to that. So my Minecraft directory, sense? I just want to look see how big it is. It's it's not very big. It's only three hundred. No, they're not they're not terribly big, but they can get really big, right. especially if you have a lot of maps and a lot of texture packs too. A lot of maps too. or a lot of texture packs, yeah. something like that. They can get quite large. And we dealt with we've dealt with texture packs on the show that were a hundred megs to download. Yeah. So you think so, about that. That's going up onto your Dropbox. So, so if you have a if you have a pro account with a lot of storage, great. If you don't, so let's do this one more do. time. Uh, but okay. with resource packs, okay. So we're okay. gonna because we already have the uh, the administrative window open right. here, which is nice. So yeah. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my I'm gonna create a new folder here. Uh, we're well, gonna uh, yeah. Make go sure you back put it one. in the right place. And so, actually, you don't create a new folder. Just move the resource packs oh, that's folder right. over from Minecraft. So I'm gonna actually I'll just do a copy. Yep. Paste. Bring it over. Rename the old the one the one that's not in the Dropbox folder. Yep. So I'm gonna re rename this and call it resource packs local. Okay. So there it is. And now I'm and go back to your my your console here. window and you already have it you already have it typed out. So I just much. hit up. So instead of making and it Minecraft saves, it's gonna be Minecraft resource packs here. And just make sure it's yep. it, if it is case sensitive, make sure that you're typing in the right same case resource. and you have to do the other one too. Yep. And so there's resource packs. That, oh. Uh, uh, I screwed that up. I need to go back this way. Hold on here. So yeah, left gonna, and right arrows, not yeah. up arrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Resource packs, and then I'll go over here. Resource packs, and you might be able to tab complete too. Oh, that's right. That's true. Uh, I I need to know how to spell resource. There we go. That helps. There you yeah. go. So then I hit enter. It'll create a new link. Yep. There's the new link. As you notice, and it, it just popped, popped up, up in the folder here. over there. And now yep. you'll see those are sunk up as well. Yep. So this is so all. That's it. So already got, now it's syncing right do, now. Right. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's uploading to, to Dropbox. Uh, so yeah, you can do that with any of them. So if you want to, if you want to keep your, um, I think there's a, the config directory, I think right. stores your settings 
um, for all of the different profiles. So you could keep your, or no, there's maybe a profile. So I can't remember. I can't read your screen at all. So, um, but <laughs> there's a, uh, there is a, another spot in that directory. And if you explore through that, through that, that, that folder, you'll find a whole bunch of different settings and you can sync all of those the same the, exact way. Now, or if you, if you're just like, nope, I want the whole thing. So you the, can sync the other the whole thing, thing too is, for example, you mm -hmm. see the servers.dat file. Yeah. Is, this is where your, your your all your saved servers are saved in, I believe, right? So, like, I, don't know. I believe it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so, if you want your servers, uh, your server list to be the same on on both systems, you know, you can bring that over too. Um, but all right, so now we got it all set up here. So, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna move over to the Mac. And and yep. this and this is where you can say, well, now now that's great. I have everything I need, Joe. Now what 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 can I do to uh, make sure I have everything on the Mac? So I'm going to move over to the Mac here, and so here's the Mac, and what do I need to do over here? Well, it's the same thing. We're going to set up symbolic or uh, yeah, symbolic links between the directories there. Right. The difference is, uh, it's a little different command. Oh, look at that! Also, <laughs> Thirty-nine files yeah, so there. It's I already wonder, downloaded. I the wonder files. what files those are. <laughs> <laughs> so the important thing is to make sure again that you already have Dropbox installed, which I do, yep. and it's set up and working on your account. Obviously, you do because you got the little thing that said, "Hey, Dropbox, you have files. All files." Right. Um. So then the next thing you want to do is find your Minecraft directory. All right. So I'm gonna you can I'm do gonna, that the exact same way. So I'm bring up my Minecraft my launcher. Minecraft so there's the launcher, which, by the way, you guys, you probably notice it looks exactly the same as the other one, which is very nice. I'm going to go under Edit Profile, yep. click on that, and then I'm going to say Open Game Directory, and then here it is. Yeah, same same exact thing. Right. Uh, so, and then, yeah, go ahead and close Minecraft. I'm gonna close that. and then close, close the launcher out. Yep, there it is. Okay. Joe Huckabee says it looks like you're running on battery. I am running on battery, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a it's a MacBook Air, so it'll last for like three days. Yeah, three days. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, so now what you want to do is you want to open the console on Mac, only on Mac. Uh, and I, I honestly, I don't know who started you mean this. Terminal. One of them, huh? You mean terminal, right? Well, right. Everything else is a console, but on Mac, it's called terminal. Terminal. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, I don't know. Who decided that was the way they wanted to do things? But yeah. So I'm gonna type in terminal here, and, and just run it, and then here and look, it is. Look at that! Oh, it's all scary though. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you have to be careful when you're dragging stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. I was just now. So there, there you go. You got that. Uh, the okay. other thing you want to open is the Dropbox folder. All right. So let me open that up here. I'm gonna try to set this up pretty much the same way as we saw it before. So the Dropbox okay. is on the right here. Minecraft is on the left here, and we'll have Terminal right in the middle. So there we go. Okay. This is what so we had So on before. the Dropbox, go ahead and get into the Minecraft directory. There it is. And you'll see saves and resource, and resource packs. packs right there. Yep. Oh, you know what? You want to run Minecraft fully to show that we don't actually have those maps on this machine? Oh, yeah. Good call. Good call. Uh, so uh, we'll bring it back Minecraft again. Just to prove, just yeah. to <laughs> prove that we're not we're not cooking show cooking uh, showing this, you know, or anything like that. That we're is not correct. Pre baking everything. Yep. So I'm gonna hit play here. Uh, this is running 174, just as the other machine. I'm going to go into single player, and you'll notice Look, there are no nothing. worlds. There's nothing, nothing there. That's, nothing. that's amazing. That's astounding. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going right. to quit out of here. All right. And now we're back. Okay. So we got the console. We got the Dropbox on the right, and on the left, the local Minecraft files. Right. So here's where uh, the difference is. Uh, Mac OS uses some, because it's Unix-based, it's not Windows-based, it uses some different commands to create short uh, symbolic links. But they're still really easy. In fact, instead of, what is it, six characters, seven characters in Windows, it's two characters. Oh, of course. LN. Ah, LN. Link. LN, space. Got it. And you want to tell it you're making a symbolic link, so it's dash S. Dash S. Space. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is one of my favoritest things. The saves directory on the Dropbox side, drag that into the terminal window. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is so my favorite thing ever. All right. <laughs> so uh, good. Okay. All right. Okay. Now on the on the on the uh local side, uh -huh. you already have a save directory in there. Yeah. So you can go ahead and drag that in. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. Just drag the saves directory into the terminal window. The exact same thing you just did. Not the okay, okay good. Yep. And now rename the one that you you were just moving. So just call it something right? else, or delete it. I'll just call it local because we're going to stay, uh, you know, 
we'll stay consistent. So we'll call this local. Is that the save directory? I can't. No, that is I'm not. That is stats. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So so rename that back in case that's important, which it isn't because it'll just recreate it. Yeah. But yeah. All right, got it. All right. Okay. Well, of course, it's an empty empty folder. If you of course. Up yeah, 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 yeah. But all right. Uh, so now uh, just uh, hit enter. Whoa. Look at that. And look, on this one, it's got the little Dropbox little checkbox. It does have yeah. a little Dropbox icon, but notice it, it's not an expandable folder. Right. But if you double click on it, it'll still open as if it was a folder. Oh, so, look at that. Okay. And look, the maps are there because you're actually over on the... Anyway. Uh, so now if you run Minecraft... Uh, do we want to do the resource packs, or do you want to run Minecraft? I right uh, will just run Minecraft. We're, we're running okay. short here, but, um, but yeah. So I'm going to run Minecraft. Here we go. Minecraft is running, and now I'm going to go hit play. And single player, is it here? Will it be here? Will all the hard work be for nothing? Oh, would you just click the button? Yeah, it's there. <laughs> and actually, just and to now, prove, yeah. I'm just going to go yeah, into my world. into it. Play my world. Now, here's the greatest thing, right? So, oh, look, there's my wool. There it is. All right. Yeah. I'm going to bring up my inventory, and now I'm going to add some some dirt because I, I, I just want to have dirt with it. Okay. You should add some other wool color, uh, colored wool blocks or something or clay or something. So here's some dirt, and I'm going to add – I'm using a touchpad, which is a little weird. All right. So I'm going to add – you're, you're left clicking. I know, I know, I know. I, it's so hard with the touchpad. <laughs> just that sucks so bad. You know, you can use the number keys like an FPS to change. No, I know, but I'm trying to place the blocks. There we go. All right. Yeah. No, I change because I see you keep scrolling to change blocks, and it's it. Anyway, all right. So we have dirt. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do? Oh, you can hold down Control and click as well. Ah, oh, that's right. better. I like that better. Yeah. That's much better. Yeah. Okay. So I have all this dirt. So now I'm gonna exit, save, and quit to title. All right. So I'm gonna quit. And right now, okay, now, it's syncing. The important thing, yeah, is to make sure that Done. Dropbox syncs your savings first. And, oh, uh, we'll continue. Yeah, you switch no. over to the Windows. Yeah, I was, I was just going to do that. There's so. one more really major thing that I need to point out. All right, so we're we back finish. to Windows. We're back into Windows. And you'll notice now the saves is green. That means it's already synced up. It's that fast. I'm going to run, uh, I'll run Minecraft over here on this machine. Yeah, you're right about that. Extremely slow. No dedicated graphics. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I don't play Minecraft on it. <laughs> on a MacBook Air? Yeah. yeah. On a, on a three-year-old MacBook Air? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so and then I go in single player. Single player. And look, there's a new timestamp that yep. we just did. I'm going to play that world. And you'll, you should see our dirt blocks here. And then they're there. There they are. Yep. Look at that. Yep. So you very need to update Optifine. Yeah, I know. It's a little old. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's it. It's actually really, really straightforward. Yeah. Uh, and and again, uh, all you need to do is, so we, we showed it on one on a Mac and one on a PC. If you're starting on a PC and going to a Mac, you can follow exactly what we did. Right. If you're going from a from a PC to a PC, mm -hmm. you follow the first part twice. Twice, right. Just duplicate <laughs> I mean, it. Really, that's it. Yep. Uh, and again, it's really, really cool how yeah. well this works. And uh, uh, like I said, I've been doing it for years. The, the big, big, huge, giant thing I need to remind everyone of don't run the. Don't be running it on two machines at the same time. Don't run Minecraft do, at the same time. You mean? Don't be running Minecraft on the same save folder at the same time on two machines. Right. Uh, even via Dropbox, it will corrupt the other the map files, and they will break each other because there's no real good check in check out like that. Dropbox does an okay job of protecting some of that stuff, but I wouldn't risk it. Uh, it's just not worth it. So, but now that you got this technique down, go ahead and try it. Use it a few times. See how it works. Yeah. Think about using this for other games. Oh, I know. Uh, the I I had a big problem with one of the Batman games, one of the the Arkham games that came out a, a few years ago, where you would play for a few hours into it, and then it would erase your save and actually corrupt your save and make it unreadable, and you'd lose all your progress. And it was a known major major bug. Right. And it happened to me once, and I was like, nope. Screw you. Don't trust you well, anymore. The, the it good, saved all my back, all of my maps or my, my saves. I just redirected onto Dropbox. The good news here is like if you're on Steam, a lot of the games uh, mm -hmm. utilize the Steam cloud yeah. technology. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, for, for older games where they have their own dedicated saves folder, yep. like I wish I would have known about this for my SimCity 4 stuff. Uh, SimCity <laughs> 4 would always keep something yeah. on the local machine um, and, yeah. I would, and I would do a reinstall 
and I'm like, oh crap, did I did I remember to back up my my city? Did I back up my city? This is a, a nice way to automate that process too. Uh, so yeah, no, great technique. I know not a lot of Minecraft showing, but a lot of you guys do a lot of building local player. Yeah. You and you want to have a way and utilize those resources. Dropbox is free up to two gigs. And if you do a yeah. lot of uh, features like you know inviting friends or linking your phone, you can get that up to five, and you can actually pay for more storage. It's a really good service, yeah. uh, and it's all and, secure. And you know what, though? It's even with stuff. just two gigs, even with two to five gigs, You're good. you can get a lot of maps in that, especially single-player maps where you don't yeah. have people venturing out for thousands of blocks. So it, it is really enough space for all of it. And and like you saw earlier, your, your entire Minecraft directory isn't that big. So if you have a bunch of machines that are really similar in terms of spec, you can just copy all those, you know, just do do a link for the entire dot .minecraft directory. Yep. Totally. And then you'll have the same exact settings, all of the same servers, everything on all your machines. Yeah. So if you guys have questions, I'm hoping Joe might be able to put something together written wise we can put on the on the page. <laughs> uh, uh yeah, we yeah. probably can come up with something. Yeah. Yeah, cuz I know a lot of you guys like some text instructions. Uh so we'll put some something together for you guys, but the great thing about video, you can stop Rewind it, you know, if you get confused. And don't forget about our forums. Our community is awesome. So if you get stuck along the oh, way, yeah. some people can jump in to help you guys out. So Yeah, if you have any questions or any, any problems with it, uh, in addition to the show notes, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have a forum. We won't have one set up specifically for this, but if you have a problem or if you have a well, question, we have an episode post, post there. We'll do an, we always That's do an true. episode post. We'll have post. an episode post. Episode but, one, but if two, you five. have a specific question about how to do this or you ran into a problem with it, please post. And if I don't answer you, um, I've been watching our chat and there are people in here who are saying, you need to do it this way. You need to do it this way. So there's obviously other people who know how to do this and have done it before. So it's, it's a, it's a really straightforward process that once you get used to, it's easy. And you'll be like, why didn't someone tell me this years ago? So and you'll yell at us for not having done it like years ago as an episode. So we're going to move on okay. now uh, to our pack pick and our pack pick this week was sent into the show by boss for life. And he really wanted us to show off the max pack legacy one seven two pack. Now this pack uh, is a sixteen by sixteen by pack, so it's not a very dense pack, if you will. But the great thing about that is we'll run on most systems out there without any issue, uh, because of the fact that it's not uh, you know over the top graphically. It will run on your system without any lag or slowness or anything like that, which is really cool. Uh, so here it is, and uh, we're going to take a look at it. Uh, first off. I got to say right away, Joe, I like the redstone mm -hmm. uh, lines. Nice and clean and easy. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's, it's just, you know, it's taking the the original 16 by 16 and just making it a little bit different, which is nice. Oh, I think my sounds might still be off. By the way, the menus are, yeah, sounds are off. Uh, maybe I should have left them off. Uh, <laughs> they're a little loud. Uh, but I love the villagers. I think the villagers look great. I like how they... Oh, oh. no, I'm just kidding. Um, they look good there. Uh, let me just take... We'll just take a brief look around, Joe. Um, I like the flowers. I like the, the look of the, the carpet and the, the different blocks here. Uh, I, don't really, I don't really like the carpet being so solid color. Oh, uh, you don't... Yeah. Well, it's, it's just over overdone I, I don't know uh, but i like a lot of the other blocks i i do really i do like I love the, the mossy stone, stone. Uh, the mossy stone the, yeah the yeah, stone bricks like that, yeah. and the 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 stone um fencing i think is really cool there's stone walls um it looks great um uh, you know the the oh lava child proof for me i like the signs too by the way <laughs> very clean and easy to read yeah. i like yeah, that the font's a lot really good to read very very and, nice oh the uh, behind us is this is different uh heights of snow block Oh yeah, and the ice there. Yep, ice in the in the middle there. Yeah, packed ice and regular ice in the middle. Uh, I like the stained blocks here. I, I really like those a lot, actually. Uh, they and just the the tinted nice... glass too looks yeah. pretty good. Looks great. Um, this is one of those packs that obviously you want to change the the look of your Minecraft world with not sacrificing performance. This might be one for you. Um. The one thing I don't like too much is some of the colors, some of them, feel a little diluted, if if you will. They don't feel as sharp or as vibrant as I usually like, but it does have a nice, you know. See, I was I, I was thinking with the, the, the wool and the carpet that it's it's just a little bit too not as textury. Is that it? Yeah, it's 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 almost overly plain, you know, and, and especially on the carpet. Uh the, the carpet I think is just too much color. 
And maybe it's just the red carpet. If, I think if it might be the red in here, yeah. or it might be it the pattern. Be better, it might even be the pattern too. It, it might be the pattern. But yeah, other, other than that, I really like. I really do like the bricks. The brick look is fantastic. Yeah. Um, and then the different. These are the different redstone blocks down here. You can see the uh, uh, dispenser and dropper and the different pistons and stuff like that. I think they look pretty good. Definitely related to the uh, to the classic style. Oh, and look at the villagers. You see the villagers. Yeah, over I, here on the that's, side? yeah. I mentioned that earlier. They look great and. And even the the zombies, I like how the zombies look. And the the mushroom and and yeah, I, I I give it a thumbs up, Joe. It would definitely be a pack that I could potentially use every day if I want to change away mm -hmm. from uh, the standard default pack. Uh, well, and over here you can see the trapped chest versus a standard chest. I actually like how obvious the difference is. Uh, I know there's some people who don't like how obvious that the difference is the red blocks next to the. You latch, can see the but... little the little red dots there. Yeah. Nice, I like that a lot. Um, yeah, what uh, what do you give a rating on this, Joe? I give it a thumbs up. I like it. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up uh, on on the condition that you're not using the <laughs> wrong carpet, rotted carpet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, the the white carpet I think looks okay. Um, I actually really prefer just the straight uh, block quartz look on here. I love the brick look. That brick style is really cool. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I would say I'll give it a thumbs up. Uh, I just am not a fan of this particular carpet yeah. that they used. Fair enough. How did the iron golem get out? I don't know. He's just walking around, man. He's he is. He's time. just kind of wandering around. Um, I also want to take wanna this uh, this time and opportunity <laughs> to say a big thanks to these names that you see up there on the screen. They're joining us during our live show right now. And right now, uh, hopefully, our mods are giving out the great EXP and our brand new uh, Manor Campus theater so make sure that you uh when you do watch a show you watch this live and be in the server because if you do that we hook you up uh with some yep. great exp and thank you guys for joining us during a live show because you make the chat room um uh, much more fuller you guys are much awesome. more fuller huh? yeah whatever i yeah you see you had to point out my fault there joe and be all mean about it and, and that's just mean be all meaner about it. You're being all meaner about it. More, more meaner. More meaner. Uh, now, this would be where we would do our server showcase, but we're not doing. Yeah, one. yeah server showcase. Let's we're, see something cool. We're not doing one this week. Oh, yeah. Totally disappointed. Well, there's a couple shocked. of reasons for that. First, obviously, we just moved into a new map, so a lot of people haven't had a chance yet to build something really big or even small and nice. You know, a lot of people are just concentrating on gathering materials and and doing that sort of thing. We've only had. I want to say, I think one and a, uh, I would say one and a half entries. The half entry said, well, it's a work in progress. It's not quite there yet. And so I didn't even want to go look at it because it's like, yeah. if it's a work in progress, wait till you're done and then submit it to us. Yeah. Well, the hard part is yeah. if somebody submits a work in progress and we go feature it, we're not going then back. We're going to be less inclined to go back and look at it again in a few weeks when it's done. Yeah. So. Yeah. So uh, what we're going to do instead is implement something brand new. And we'll have a link in the show notes for this. It's going to be the weekly, uh, the server, uh, the server. I, I need a catch of title for this. I don't have one yet. Uh, the server weekly build contest or the, uh, the, the server weekly build. I don't know. It's going to be something snappy. But we're going to do a contest where we're going to give you guys a challenge. You'll have one week to complete it. And then we'll see what you can come up with. Uh, and so we we have a, a thread uh, in the forums right now where I want to see your ideas. Jay Huckabee has already thousand ideas, or maybe not, but he has like <laughs> ten ideas, which is great. Uh, and this is one of those things where you know you got to build it in a week, and then you submit it to the show, and then we'll 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 check them out. You know, um, I don't know if this and, will. And re we should say, is this going to be, or do we want to limit this to people in the? Main world, not yes, the resource map. Main world only. Or not the, I'm sorry, not the creative map, because of course, if you're in the creative map, <laughs> yeah, it's not a big deal. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, whatever block it's no you big want. deal. You're right. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> it's it's going to be the 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 main survivor world only. Yeah, only. So there you go. All right. Um. So. Um. So this, we want your ideas. We want to hear from you guys. So we'll have a link in our show notes, but you can head to our forums. It's in the Minecraft Me section. We want to hear your ideas. What should some of the weekly server build contests should be? At this point, we're not going to select a winner, uh, and we'll feature as many as we can. Uh, it's one of those things where if we get a lot of entries, we may have to somehow 
filter them down. I, I, I just don't know. It's something we're trying. Uh, we want to hear from you guys, so make sure you head over to our forums, geekgamer.tv slash forums, Minecraft me board, and you too can be a part of the discussion. So there we go. It's now time for the questions and answers part of our show. We call them the questions and answers or the Minecraft me messages. This is where you can send in your questions, Minecraft me at geekgamer.tv or everything okay over there. I'm, I'm, I'm falling yeah, I'm, apart. It's just, it's, it's just, yeah, it's a yeah. long day. It's different uh, names for everything this episode. Yeah, it's the Minecraft Me email. More differenter. Email, pal- <laughs> email palooza. <laughs> and the first question comes in the show from Brian. Brian wants to know, hey, I have the Xbox version of Minecraft on my discs. It works, but I got the new update in a USB. And when it plays, the following error has occurred. Please try downloading again. I'm wondering if it's in my disc and how long, how can I download my disc into the system? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read this. It's a little, uh, there's some punctuation errors, but basically he's having issues running Minecraft on his Xbox and he's got the updates on USB and then the, then you have... Sounds like he bought the disc version of it originally. Right. And the update, maybe he got on USB right. from a friend's download or something. Right. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah. Uh, and and because it's the four gig Xbox, he doesn't have the onboard hard drive. Yeah, and the other thing so he too, can't really load it locally. Now I don't know if they do this on the disc version, but typically mm-hmm. on some games when you go and play them, um, they 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 link to an account like they have a an ID a, a CD key or some sort of authentication key, uh, because I don't know how you can attach DLC to, uh, your Minecraft edition. It yeah. might it might be an issue. Well, doesn't doesn't that on the Xbox? Doesn't that link to your Xbox Live? Account it does. Usually? So, is your D the question is is your DLC yours? If if the DLC is not yours, say you in, in downloaded it from a friend's house, that DLC. But it might con- just be it might just be like you know how there's the version updates that they release every once in a while. It might just be one of those that he's talking about. Not yeah, not like the texture packs or the the skins or anything like that. That's what I'm wondering. But I I don't know. I neither one of us have really played the Xbox edition. Yeah. And um, that's sort of a hard question. I would say, you know, I, I know it's it's a pain in the neck to do it sometimes, but open a tech call with Microsoft, you know, with Xbox support. That's that's what they're for. Uh, and hopefully they can walk you through how to get this sorted and, and give you some better direction than we yeah. can. Because we, we uh, unfortunately, in Chase's, in Chase's point of view, we do not work for Microsoft. No, no. I tried. I'm I'm kind of glad I don't work for Microsoft. I tried. <laughs> uh, Leland uh, draw, uh, writes in the show. Uh, hey, Joe and Chase, patron user Shug Shug here. Thanks for for being a patron, by the way. Just a big thank you to the mods who did all the work preparing the new server. I am still discovering new bridges and overlooks as I cruise around on my horse. That is awesome. Uh, my son Luce, Luce, Lucier, uh, I think. Uh, I'm sorry, or Lucifer. I don't want to screw that up, but I'm sorry if I did. Who plays on the server was asking when or if we are going to be able to use lava buckets on our plots, or is this a griefing measure? Keep digging. Um, Now, before... Now. Now? Now. Now? Now. It's fixed. Yes, this was then. That was then. We're in now. We're in now, now. Now. But what happened to then? Then it wasn't. But what happened to then? We missed it. When? Just now. Well, actually, three days ago. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so, yeah, no, I got I saw this email a few days ago, and yep. I went in and took care of it. And so, yeah, you uh, you now can place buckets on uh, your claims, buckets of lava, and uh, you don't shouldn't have to worry about that. And you'll be able to play, and you can place them anywhere you want in the resource maps. The other thing too, well, within a few limitations, you can't place them inside the spawn building because that would be not cool. Yeah. Um. Uh, the other thing too is I fixed it so because we had some problems with creating nether or withers and uh, iron golems and stuff like that in the resource map. Now you can do that as well. And while I was at it, I went ahead and made it so that gates are locked by default. So only somebody who, or fence gates, so only somebody who has access trust to a claim can open a fence gate. So that way, I know we had some people who had issues with livestock disappearing. Hopefully that will fix that. Um, So yeah, a bunch of changes that were just done over the last day or so. Sweet. Uh, I'm sorry, I was just trying to stall a little bit. Uh Uh, I can keep talking. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, talk about nothing. Uh, so there's this really cool website now. No, 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 no. DSN uh, monitor. No, and, uh, 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 some people. Uh, we we have a Twitch team on Twitch, uh, uh, Geek Gamer TV team that is invite only. Uh, one of the guys 
uh, is in the in the uh, in the in the chat right now. Uh, his name's Original Gamester. He does a lot of FIFA soccer streaming. I mean, like he's the man. He's so cool, and he interacts with a lot of his viewers. And if you haven't checked him out yet, is Original underscore Gamester on Twitch. Actually, I I invited him in uh, to the the Twitch TV team. So we have a team of streamers that people can just stream. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he was he was asking. Uh, he noticed that I got a sub button. I have a subscription button now. So he wanted to know how that happened, what's going on, and all that jazz. So I was uh, I was trying to uh, kind of navigate the chat during that because I know uh, Jay Huckabee may not know the background of that. So <laughs> so so there we go. Uh, question next question uh, coming into the show from Bryson says, "Hey Joe and Chase, love your show, and I have to ask you a question. What is your favorite thing to do besides making podcasts and playing Minecraft?" I feel like we've answered this before, but maybe it's a different person. Yeah. Love you guys, and thanks for making such a good show. I'm trying to convince my mom to go to Patreon and donate some money for you guys. Keep up doing the great work. If you remember, Dylan from episode 120, he couldn't join your server because he missed one letter on the server IP. Oh, oh okay. that sucks. Uh, so I'll do it. So here's the, here's the, here's the question. Um, what do we like to do? Well, I love baseball. I love watching baseball, playing baseball. Um, when I'm not playing Minecraft, I also like playing Battlefield 4, which is always fun to play. Uh, I've been working on my my uh, my character. I think he's up to level 109 now, which is crazy. It shows you how much I've been playing. Um, I also like camping. Um, I also like going outside and hanging out with my pets. Um, what about you, Mr. Mister Joe? Uh, all kinds of stuff. I don't know. Um, so... Uh... <laughs> So one of the things I I, I do and I I've, I've been I get into it for a little while and then I stop screwing out of it and then I get back out of it is is doing 3D printing stuff. Uh, this this printed I, I just did today. It's actually a uh, phone stand, so you can put your phone right in there. Right. So just now look at that. Yeah, um, nice. And uh, it's it's kind of a kind of a cool deal. But anyway, uh, so I, I do some 3D printing stuff also, and we've talked about that in the, in the past. Also, I do um I I actually end up doing quite a bit of working. Uh, just you know like like working like for a job. Uh, because you end up having to do that sometimes. Uh, so I, I do some of that and that's all computer related stuff. And then I do, I do a few outdoor things. Uh, I do like RC, RC stuff. I don't think you can see any, I'm looking in my camera. I don't think you can see any of my, my RC planes right now, but I have a, a collection of RC aircraft and, um, I'm always building new ones. I actually have a, a workbench. It's right over there. Right over there. You can't see it, but it's over there. It's a mess. You don't want to see it. Uh, and, um, and so I'm building some, uh, I have a, a tricopter I'm rebuilding and uh, um, three or four planes. They're in miscellaneous stages of being constructed. So, so yeah, uh, stuff like that. And then of course, all the normal, normal stuff every, everyday people do. I like, I actually do like to read quite a bit and I, I watch TV. I have to admit. Uh, next time. We, yeah. What we need to do, Joe, uh, I love mm-hmm. watching top Gear. I've been watching, going through and watching a lot of the old episodes on Netflix just to get caught up. Mm. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, it's one of those things where it's like I'm trying to get caught up in some of these older episodes that I just haven't seen, like when they went through Vietnam and stuff. You know, it's just like some really, mm. really good episodes. So that's not that's one of their highest rated episodes of all time. Yeah, such so good. I, I that was my first time ever seeing it. I just watched it a few days ago. So, um, all right, last question, you guys. Last question, and then we'll wrap this up. K Cole two writing in said, "Hey, as always, great show, best one out there." Anyway, let's cut to the chase. Get it, Chase. I don't get it. Anyway, um, I have a show suggestion or question for you. I was thinking it would be very enjoyable if you could do a show on armor dying. This uh, would be probably rather short for play it. So if you can combine it with dungeons, if you could explain their value, that would and always how to find them, that'd be great. As always, keep up the great work, Cake Hole Two. Yeah, I, we haven't talked about diable armor, really. We did briefly. Briefly, uh, when it was first introduced, we talked about it. Um, it's pretty short forward. You need a cauldron and some dye and some water yeah. and leather armor. Um, and, uh, and we have done, uh, we have done a little bit with dungeons. We've talked about when you find one, what you can do with it, uh, how to create basic, really, really simple, um, uh, mob killing mechanisms to gather materials from the, uh, from the spawners and stuff like that. So, uh, we can, we can hit on that stuff again. Yeah. It has been a little while and there are new, a bunch of new colors available for, for doing, uh, for doing leather dyed leather armor. Totally. So. Yeah. So, Hey, you guys, if you have your questions, you want to send in the show, you can do that. Minecraft me at geekgamer.tv. If you send a video question, you get right to the head of the line. 
also, if you're a Patreon, um, you get to the head of the line too. You, you get priority treatment. So if you're a Patreon and you're sending emails in, you know, you mentioned you're a Patreon, you are, you're getting up there. You're, you're going to get in, you're going to make sure that your email is read on that episode. So make sure you send those questions in, questions in Minecraft me at geekgamer.tv. Also remind all you guys that you too can uh, download all the previous episodes of Minecraft me on our website, geekgamer.tv. Go figure that one out. If you go to the Minecraft Me show page here, you can check out our last episode. We celebrated May the 4th uh, by doing the Star Wars Adventure again. And we got a lot farther this time, too. Uh, so check it out. Uh, we, episode one, number 124. On the right-hand side of the page, you'll notice different ways to subscribe to us. HD video on iTunes, SD video, MP3, and much, much more. And we also are on YouTube, youtube.com slash Network. Uh, so all you can do is head over to geekgamer.tv and check out the show, and you can figure them out there. Joseph Falby, he's our server administrator. Follow him on Twitter at Falby, F-A-L-B-E-Y. He keeps everything going very, very well. And uh, you know what? Follow him because he won't spam up your Twitters at all. I promise you. He won't. No, no I really won't. You can follow me on Twitter and all the green that you see all around me, at Nunes, N-U-N-E-S. And please follow the network on Twitter. You'll know when we're going live for shows, game streaming, and much more at Geek Gamer TV. We do the show Thursday evenings at 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 Eastern. That's when we start the party and have a great time at live.geekgamer.tv. Uh, if you want to see Joe again, you might want to tune into this Sunday. We uh, brought back Geek Gamer Weekly. We talk about the latest in gaming and technology. We went off on some great tangents talking about the Star Wars universe. Had a lot of fun. We talked about the NVIDIA Shield. And all that. Uh, it was a, just a great episode. It was really good to be back. A lot of people sent in some comments and said, hey, it's good to see you guys back. So if you want to check that out, Sundays, 5 p.m. Pacific time, live.geekgamer.tv. And we'll be back on this Sunday as well. All right, Joe. You ready to go? I think so. All I was right. trying to figure out how old my Twitter account is, but I actually can't tell. Uh, I can I can find that out for you. I know I'd have to go all the way to the end of it, but I mean, and however no, old no, it is, and it's years old. I can I can find out. For, it's not that it's hard. The you don't have to go back to the beginning. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> anyway, it's it's years old. 149 tweets. Wow. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it for us. Uh, for Mr. Joseph Falby, I'm Chase News. Thank you for downloading and watching Minecraft Me. We'll see you guys again next week and Sunday or weekly. Keep digging.